good morning uh, double jeopardy is a privilege uh, fundamental rights guaranteed in the constitution and the crc there may not be trial again if one is prosecuted and punished subsequently the punishment is includes acquittal therefore when just batmini jesudre was uh, uh, address a court judge when she dealt the cases uh, appeal against acquittal she had uh, issued a concept saying that uh, beating appeal against acquittal is somewhat uh, double jeopardy because the accused is being subjected to ordeal of trial again here a case where you can understand the double jeopardy very easily because there is some deviation about double jeopardy judgment the actually uh, Uh, the accused and uh, the complainant were resident of Saliana Tahsil district, Chamoli, Uttarakhand. They were engaged at their village. Thereafter, uh, she was invited and subjected to sexual assault intercourse. Then thereafter, he demanded money to marry her. When it is not met, he threatened to kill. Therefore, she filed a complaint under Section 156, Class 3, and uh, the uh, final report was filed. The lower court, judicial magistrate, only tried offence under Section 504 uh, and 506 and acquitted the case. However, uh, the case of 370 is committed to Sessions Court Chamoli. Chamoli has uh, uh, stated that the occurrence was not within its jurisdiction. Therefore, uh, uh, the case was not tried. Then some objections were raised about continuing offences that were all were rejected. The accused Narendra Shah is discharged in Section 370 on the ground the lack of territory with the liberty to proceed prosecution against the accused in the appropriate court. So it was only discharged. You kindly go through Section 59 CRPC. There, at the initial stage, the court can discharge the accused. So finally, after discussing 177 ordinary place of trial, place of inquiry 178 CRPC, 179 CRPC, uh, 180 CRPC, place for together 184. Now you see what is ratio. You go through if you want to really understand the major sections of uh, CRPC. Discharge of accused 227, 220, 180 for want of territorial jurisdiction. Alleged offence of was committed in Delhi. Other acts of extending alleged threat by accused to prosecution on phone took place at Uttarakhand. Offence of threat was not continuing offence. Alleged threats were not constituting such offence so as to form series of acts with offence of threat. Order of session J. Uttara discharging accused of offence under Section 376 for want of territorial jurisdiction held proper. So you have to understand what uh, what is. Uh, uh, con constituting continuing offence and uh, form series of facts corresponding sections of CRPC. Challenge Magistrate who tried matter was not lacking in power authority to try offence under 504, 506. Validity correction order segregating charge under section 376 was a matter entirely different, but until the said order was in cooperation. Matter had to go to trial before Mesh and he was bound to proceed with this plea that due to segregation of charge, 376 matter went to trial JFC for offense, though entire matters tried in court of sessions rejected. That point was also rejected. Then uh, double jeopardy. 
accused having gone through trial for offences 504 and 506 and acquitted cannot be subjected to another trial for same charges on same fact so that was rejected the however they hold good that the session judge who discharged the accused for want of jurisdiction and directed to pursue the case with, with, before the court which have got jurisdiction this is ar 2022 supreme court 2885 miss p versus state of uttarakhand and another kindly go through this judgment very good judgment